Hey kids, it's Papa. You ready to explore the Bible? All right, take your Bibles and turn with me to Nehemiah chapter 13. Finally, we're in the last chapter of uh, one of my favorite books of the Old Testament, Nehemiah, uh, and uh, chapter 13. Now, Nehemiah had come to do a job, but in doing that job, there were other things that he did and other things that he, uh, you know, as far as the administration was concerned, and he was very good uh, at putting everything together. But he also had a main job, and that was as the cupbearer back uh, in, uh, in the, the, uh, for the king. And so he went back there, but then he got leave from the king to go back. And so notice in verse 13, on that day, um, okay, uh, okay, verse 4, and before this, Eliashib, the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God, was allied unto Tobiah. Who was Tobiah? He was one of the bad guys. Yeah, Sanballat and Tobiah, they were the evil ones. They were the ones that were conducting business in Jerusalem, and they were afraid that the wall was going to cut them out. And you know what? They were right, because they had no business uh, doing that. Um, and notice verse 5, and he had prepared for him, okay, Elisha had prepared for Tobiah, a great chamber where aforetime they had laid the meat offerings, the frankincense and the vessels and the tithes of the corn and the new wine and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the Levites and to the singers and to the porters and the uh, offerings of the priests. Okay, so they had a, a, a large room in the temple where when people would bring in their tithes and offerings, they would go into that room. The problem is that Elisha said, you know what, we're going to give this room to Tobiah and I don't know, maybe he put Tobiah in charge of distributing those things. But the problem is those things weren't getting distributed. The offerings uh, were, were coming in, but then they were disappearing and they weren't going to the Levites and to the singers and to all the people who did the work in the temple. They weren't doing that. Um, notice verse six, but at that time, um, at that time, I was not at Jerusalem, for in the two and the thirtieth year of Artaxerxes, the king of Babylon, came I unto the king, and after certain days I obtained leave of the king, and I came to Jerusalem, and I understood of the evil that Elisha did for Tobiah in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God, and it grieved me sore. Yeah, it ought to make you angry, Okay. This is why God gives us anger, so we'll do something about it. Therefore, I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. Then I commanded that they cleansed the chamber thither and brought again the vessels of the house of God. Okay, he says, get him out of there. Take all of his stuff and throw it out on the sidewalk. And then cleanse that room. You clean it because that dirty dog is gone. And Yeah. They cleansed it. And you know what? He was angry about this. And he had every right to be angry. He should be angry. <laughs> uh, and so, you notice verse 10, And I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given to them. For the Levites and the singers that did the work were fled everyone to his field. <laughs> okay. Hey, it hasn't been happening. Uh, notice. Verse 11, then I contended, then contended I with the rulers and said, why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. And <laughs> you know what? This is what a leader does. He gets angry about the things that he should get angry about. And he uses that energy to set things right. It's one of the things I love about Nehemiah. Okay. And there are times when we need to, to, to get angry. Now, not selfishly. Not, well, he hurt me or he did that. Now, listen, that's just selfishness. And you get angry at your brother or your sister for, for you know, doing something to you. That's just selfishness. But when you see someone hurting your brother, even if it's your sister or your sister hurting your brother or whatever, then you need to step in and say, hey, stop that. Stop that. That's not right. And when you do that, you're doing God's work, okay? So here's the thing. When we get angry, 
we need to ask ourselves, wait a minute, am I angry for myself? Or if I or am I angry for God or for someone else? That's really the difference between good anger and bad anger. Okay? Hey. All right. Well, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.